Hi, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com. So I'm in the basement of the house still. Um, uh, as you recall, I recently done a review on some high CU IP cameras. Uh, they're 1080 by thir up to 30 frame and support real-time streaming protocol. And my whole um, my whole reason for wanting to test those out was to uh, see if there was an an, al an you know an alternative method um, for us home shop people you know to maybe to get a little better audio or video and uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know, by using these cameras they're they're inexpensive and you know you can get uh, multiple camera angles right at a press of a button uh, or whatever from by using OBS now. I'm using, uh, normally I would like to use like a lapel wireless mic, uh, but unfortunately, you know, I have uh, two wireless mics. Uh, one is an Audio Technica and that I use with my camcorder, and it works uh, works really well with my camcorder, but it, it does not work so well with the PC that I use for um, OBS. The other one is, I don't know, it's a little, it's a, for BU, I bought it on Amazon. Uh, it was actually kind of expensive for what it was. It was a USB charged uh, stereo um, mic uh, wireless microphone. And uh, the problem is with this, uh, one of the channels uh, barely records. So, I mean, the only really usable way to, to, to use it is record in mono, and then that lacks something. And I tried to contact the seller, never heard anything back. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you see that? I don't know if that focuses. Um, don't waste your money. Okay. Junk. So I'm um, using this uh, set of headphones um, here. Now it's about the only thing I got to, to connect to this machine that it seems to like. And um, so at least that way I get some audio. So um, what I would like to do is uh, see if there um, uh, maybe is an. Uh, 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 some other cheap alternatives uh, maybe from Banggood that we could utilize because look let's face it tooling is expensive if I got 50 bucks to spend I'm probably going to spend it for a tool in the shop or some tooling in the shop and not be spending it on uh, on a, a wireless mic or a camera or something like that so if these uh, uh, cameras that are on sale for 25 and 30 bucks uh, can do good for me then let's see so um, let, let's come over to OBS and I'll show you how I've got these set up and working Okay, so what you're looking at here is the uh, studio mode, uh, or OBS in studio mode. Uh, this computer have two displays on it, okay? And uh, so on this primary display that I'm recording that you're seeing here is uh, where I can set up and shift my scenes. For example, if I wanted to transition to these two cameras, right? You see now both of the cameras. If I want to transition back to my OBS desktop, I can transition to that. Okay, so as you recall, or if you recall, if you watch the um, Banggood uh, IP camera review, uh, and I would suggest you know perusing through the short uh, review if you have time to look at the uh, real-time streaming protocol stuff and, and how it's set up. But in a nutshell, you recall, or if you recall, the uh, camera supports uh, uh, um, real-time streaming protocol, or RTSP. And uh, which can be viewed directly by VLC media player. So you can say open network stream. You can select the camera and say play. And then bang, there's the uh, camera. Okay. Uh, but uh, that same string can be used inside of OBS to capture video inside of OBS. Right. So if I look here at, uh, let's say, uh, camera one, right. And you'll see over here I have IP camera one. And if I look at the properties of that, you see there's that same RTSP um, string that we created. So so that's basically how you do that. And, you know, you can put the logo and uh, so like here you're not seeing my logo. I can move that up and, and it, it, it'll show up. But anyway, so that's how uh, you connect these cameras. But now the problem is that there, you tend to have a little bit of a uh, uh, delay between the uh, audio device that you're using to record and the um, the video camera stream itself. So when you create your um, audio source here, you see uh, down here I'm using the mic auxiliary. And if I go to settings and advanced properties here, you'll see that uh, I have a, a sync offset or a delay offset so that when the video records, um, 
you know it is it is uh synchronized with the audio so the uh, other thing that uh, I need to point out currently about this setup is that you know I have no zooming or uh, manual focusing. For that, you'll need a PTZ IP camera, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check with Banggood see if I can review one of those, and I want to also see if there's an inexpensive USB wireless mic that I can uh, that I can test because what I'm really interested here is uh, providing a uh, inexpensive um, I've been cat bombed. Uh, an inexpensive, uh, you know, way for us home shop people to do some recording and set up some shops and stuff, uh, shots and stuff like that. So, um, the uh, if you find this, if you think that this is somewhere you want to go and you want to see more of this, let me know because I, I really don't want to waste anybody's time. This is what I intend to use uh, probably going forward once I worked out all my bugs and kinks. Uh, you know, to do shop videos for myself because uh, I have, uh, you know, I've got these 1080, they're 1080p cameras, something else I want to mention too. These are 1080p cameras, but I have the stream set to 720p, right? And they are plugged into a gigabit switch. So uh, the, the PoE switch that I purchased to power the cameras, I made sure I bought a, a gigabit switch so that I can get as much data moving and is moving as fast as I can so to prevent frame losses and stuff like that so uh, I'm not so sure this computer has a gigabit card in it but I'll have to look but that's kind of one of those things that uh, I, I would definitely go with a hardwired setup I don't think that I would do wireless IP so um, that's going to be the end of this here I just wanted to give a little update and uh, if there's anybody uh, interested and wanting to know more about OBS um, and and uh, you know, maybe some sort of setup in the shop or whatever. Uh, drop me, uh, you know, comment down in the comment section, um, or you know, email me. You can go to my website at uh, myheap.com and click on contact, and you can email me there. Uh, if you go to my YouTube about page, the email address is there. You can just email me to Xavier X A V I E R at gtechgtec.com. So anyway, I, I just want you to know there's a lot of things that you can do with OBS Studio. Uh, it's really designed for streaming. You know, if uh, you've seen, uh, if you've watched Emma, she streams. I don't know if she uses OBS or not, but that's really what it's designed for. But uh, I use it as a just a video recorder, and then uh, I use uh, Caden Live to uh, edit the video. So anyway, again, if you found this video helpful or useful, uh, please consider sharing with your friends. And uh, if you're inclined, uh, subscribe. Other than that, have a blessed day.